What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen episode 10 and 11. Pandemonium and Seance should be really excellent. If you like Jujutsu Kaisen, hit the like button. Maybe even consider subscribing to my channel with that notification bell on. Anyways, let's jump straight into it. Let's go. Man, so Jojo, I mean Jojo, <laughs> Gojo got caught. He got trapped within the prison realm. All right, someone called him. Now, my thing is... Oh, wow. Just broke it. Man, how solid is that thing? I'm your ally, you idiot. Mekamaru? Oh, my goodness. I thought they killed him. We'll meet again in the new world. What? Getsu's still there. Wait, this is crazy. This is a first. I'm still, my question is still. So it's not Mahita. You propose that the soul exists before the body, but actually the body is part of the soul. Wow. There's no way. I'll explain this phenomena. <laughs> Technique is its own worldview. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so it's someone completely different. Gate close. Wow. And then where would he, does he keep him? Oh, he even goes down to like pocket size. Unless the man inside kills himself. So he has what? He has free movement while he's in the pandemonium. So yeah, I might have missed something at some point, but what I'm saying is that I don't know who this guy is. You know, I thought it was maybe Mahito controlling it or something, but it's not. Three locations ahead of time. What about that other special grade? Um, remember she's got the blonde hair and she spoke to Ghetto like right at the end of like episode five or something. And he was like, oh, you the, the special grade who doesn't take missions. I wonder if she's got something to do with this. A veil trapping common people. The one trapping Gojo, sorcerers, yes. Oh, and then the big one that's over the whole town to keep the normal people inside, okay. Maybe Mekamaru knows a way to defeat this. Recovering Gojo, okay. <laughs> Oh, these are just the the monsters, cursed spirits. That hatchet slash axe is crazy. Oh my goodness! Gojo's not just gonna lie th down. Oh my goodness! The thing is crying, and its eyes went blue now. He's so strong, dude. 20 past 9, Shibui. Well, that's obviously the difference, right? Is that they couldn't do anything because they got told to be put on standby. And now it's like, let's just do this. Who is this? It's got a... Looked like he had like a, a hat. Oh! Oh my goodness. What is this guy doing? Maniac. Why do they look so familiar? I swear they were in the movie. And I swear I've seen that sword in like some... Another movie where it was like a hand. Oh my goodness. They won't be able to move it. Oh, Mekamaru was watching. <laughs> because he's Satoru Gojo. 
Oh, right. So they can't just leave now, right? So, like, you literally, Gojo has, like, given them time to make a plan because they have to be there. The whole thing is probably to take that seal somewhere far away. I want to see Itadori step up now. Like, I mean, he always has, but, you know, by step up, I mean Sakuna. <laughs> Man, do, 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 right through. Bro, the guy is just going up that building like it's nothing. But that's also the other thing. He was so, like, athletic before he even swallowed um, Sakuna's finger. <laughs> oh my god. Gosh. Well, it definitely works. In the country. Revenge for my younger brothers. See, that's the thing. Now it's like, who's the second one who's strongest, right? It's obviously Sukuna. So it's like, they got rid of Gojo. Who's next? Itadori. <laughs> oh, remember I was right. They were the two from the village. That was the first people that Geto killed. And the, he saved these two. Remember, like, they was on their phones. I was mentioning that. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> oh right because he's the only one who's keeping those guys alive Okay, we've jumped into episode 11, Seance. Okay, so they were trying to break the veil, obviously. So, I mean, they do have a plan to see what happens, but at the end of the day, they are coming for Itadori directly. Maito is coming for him directly with Chogo, with Chozo, so they can't be too distracted. At least Megumi and Ino are with him to fight. Is inside, probably. Yep. That building right in front of them. <laughs> the central tower. Oh, so this is the guy. Man, there's so many of them. You know what I mean? Like, they initially made it seem like it's only going to be five people, but it, there's so many. Oh, what is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, and that's the one that Itadori obviously also destroyed earlier. Oh. Is the wired thing not like Attack on Titan, kind of? I'm only like two episodes in, but you know, they throw it out like that. Oh, wow. He's playing possum, obviously. I have no pity for the elderly. That was a dopey. Okay, things are about to get going. Oh, the food looks good. Auspicious beast summon. Number one. Kaichi. Oh, he can control the movement. Oh! Oh, so this is about his technique, this episode. 
four auspicious beasts. Reiki. Oh, so that's why he said you could become first grade without with just your technique alone. Oh, use the bubble to block. Crazy. That's the thing, Itadori's martial arts is super good, dude. Matching pace with Itadori. Oh my gosh. The shank out of nowhere. Ah, oh, he got cut. Why does it seem like this guy doesn't get hurt? Like he's made of rubble or something. That's what I was saying. And he fell from 41 floors. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh, is she the one who's protecting both of them? That's why they're not taking damage. Yeah, her technique is probably helping both of them. What is that? Xenontology. Oh my goodness. Fushiguru. What, what was that? Was that like a piece of him or something? Whoa, that would be crazy. 1989. Is this when Gojo was born? Crazy. But she did cheat on me. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. So this is that technique. Oh my goodness. That old lady. What is this? Crazy. Oh my gosh. It's obviously like a serial killer. Oh, this was before Gojo. I mean, he only got born now. Over 100 million yen. So this is how crazy it was before he started like putting things right. And so this is why him being sealed is crazy because the same stuff would happen. Like it's just actual psychopaths. Oh, that's him. <laughs> Petrified. And he looks at those blue eyes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's how scared they are. The balance of the world changed and Gojo was born. So these guys were basically around the whole time. But they couldn't do anything. But I mean, what they were doing before was crazy. Like, literal serial killers. But it doesn't hurt them. Oh, so they have nothing to do with Mahito them. Oh, okay. So he's trying to figure out his technique by like balancing it with Gojo's technique and maybe see the holes then. Rabbit. Fleeing hairs. So it's maybe something behind him. Transformation through seance. Madness. Oh yeah. Fushiguru. I wonder if he's gonna fight Megumi. Whoa. One hand. Maybe it's because they want to get behind or Max Elephant. A whole 
car. My word, it's a door. <laughs> what is with this brat's power? <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Inverse, yeah. Oh, crazy. Because now he can't adjust um, in time. Cause that's his inversion. Oh, what is that? Oh my word, you're getting slaughtered. So he basically fainted and so he you know he tries to do his inversion and then smashes him catches him <laughs> that's jujutsu kaisen for you right there wow that's the thing there's always so much information just being you just hit with so much information so much information but from what i can remember obviously it's just you know gojo got sealed and but he's so strong that he's able to just anchor the prison realm right there on floor b5 and so they can't just leave it or at least the thing that's you know taken over ghetto's body which was interesting to see how you know ghetto was still the soul was still there somewhat within the body they spoke about even grabbed himself by the neck so i just also want to know who the person is that's controlling him because obviously i thought it was mojito just based off of the stitching but that doesn't seem to be the case but now they've turned their attention to itadori mainly to sakuna you know you got jogo who's saying that if if Sukuna gets released, it'll become the age of the curses, right? And it'll be more so bad for the human beings than it would be for them because they aren't afraid of dying like humans are. You know what I mean? So that's Jogo's whole idea is that it doesn't matter. Even if we get killed or whatever by Sukuna, it's going to change the whole time of everything. And we also saw that. And then Mahito just wants to kill Sukuno and Itadori because he's like, it doesn't matter what we have the forces that we have are enough to win now that gojo is sealed and it, it was interesting how they had this little flashback of when gojo was before he was born how crazy it was you had these cursed users just running around doing mental things that grandma was there and she's able to transform they called her a medium and it's a, a seance transformation or something like that and basically i guess if she has a piece of you she's able to transform into you and then they somehow had a piece of fushiguru toji zen and toji and her grandson that's what he was calling himself swallowed it and became fushiguru with his techniques and everything and it just beat the hell out of ino nanami is probably gonna have to you know find his way there to save him because he had him with one arm and he just <laughs> and just bashed his face in and he also looked exhausted as well from using his technique which was pretty cool as well which was auspicious beast summoning which looked very interesting they didn't really dive too much into it but it looks like he can summon those four beasts he had that drill thing that was like a homing missile that he could kind of just move around and then he had that water that was able to create these bubbles and actually block for him you know while he was doing his thing and then we saw these other guys basically came out of the woodwork once they heard that gojo was sealed because itadori was screaming it from the rooftops literally and they've been in hiding because i mean you saw when gojo i mean i don't know how old he was there probably like a young teenager he was just walking down the street and they got scared just by his presence and he already knew them all being there and so this is where it becomes crazy it's just because that with him sealed first of all he 
like he saved Itadori and there's many more people who the Jujutsu Society, I think that's what they call, would have killed them anyways, right? Remember, they all wanted to kill, you get uh, put to death. That's what happened with Itadori in the beginning. And then Gojo's like, no, I will step in and I'll make sure nothing happens. But he's the only thing in between them and death, right? And he even threatened, Gojo even threatens those guys, those old guys. He's like, well, you're gonna have to get through me, you know? We've seen that before. So they won't mess with him at all. But now that he's sealed, it's a different story. Now that he's sealed all those cursed users, which is interesting, they've always been there. They've just been hiding. And now it's like, okay, he's not there. Now we can go back to how things were so very interesting like i said there's probably a lot that i missed as well but that's what i do remember from it but anyways crazy episode i'm to keep watching if you like the video hit the like button consider even subscribing way more episodes of many different animes throughout the whole week uh, i'll leave the old episode up here but that's going to be it for me thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit